ट्रेडिंग इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट लुक्रेटिव प्रोफेशन इन द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज देर इज नो ऑफिस देर इज नो बॉस देर इज नो मीटिंग देर इज नो मंथली टारगेट देर इज नो कस्टमर्स देर इज नो कम्यूटिंग वर्क वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन टेक लीव वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट इवन वेन यू आर ऑन वेकेशन यू कैन वर्क नो वन विल आस्क यू वॉट यू आर डूइंग यू आर यूर ओन बॉस यू कैन लिव द लाइफ एज यू वॉन्ट एंड दैट इज वॉट मेनी पीपल गेट अट्रेक्टेड टू ट्रेडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इट ऑफर्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ट्रेडर्स दे फेल इन स्टॉक मार्केट नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ ट्रेडर्स हु एंटर स्टॉक मार्केट टू टेक अप ट्रेडिंग इवेंचुअली दे फेल दैट मीन तुम्हारा इफ हंड्रेड पीपल एंटर स्टॉक मार्केट टू स्टार्ट ट्रेडिंग स्टेटिस्टिक सेज दैट आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड नाइंटी परसेंट इवेंचुअली लूज देर मनी लूज देर कैपिटल एंड दे लिव ट्रेडिंग एंड दे लिव स्टॉक मार्केट एंड ओनली टेन परसेंट ट्रेडर्स दे बिकम सक्सेसफुल सो वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दैट हाई फेलियर रेट Why is that 90% of traders fail in stock market? So that is the objective of today's 3 lakh subscribers special video. That is trading psychology tips, tricks, and how to hack your mind. Now let us first see the reason why 90% of traders they fail in trading in stock market. And the first reason is they think that they need to be right all the time. That means they look for certainty in an uncertain business called trading. They think that when they take the trade. they have to be right that mean they look for certainty every time they take the trade what is that psychological reason which makes you to think that you have to be right all the time so let me give you an example when you are in school whenever you have done something wrong your teacher has punished you whenever you have done something right you were rewarded when you are at home whenever you have done something wrong your parents punished you but whenever you have done something right your parents have rewarded you so that is why you always want to be right you don't want to be wrong so that is where problem starts because you want to be right all the time in trading also we as a human being our mind is wired in a such a way since our childhood that we have to be right all the time so when we come to trading also we think that we have to be right all the time that mean whenever you take the trade you think that you have to make profit you can't make loss because if you make a loss that mean you are wrong and that is how our mind is wired in such a way that we always want to be right we don't want to be wrong in trading when you take the trade when it is going against your direction when you are in initially small loss you don't take the loss but when loss becomes too big to handle then finally you take the loss so that is why you don't take the loss when it is too small when it becomes too big then you will take the loss and that is how you end up making big losses in trading so same time when you are in profit you go and book your profit too early even small 500 rupees 800 rupees 1000 rupees also you go and book your profit too early because you feel that satisfaction that you are right your ego gets satisfied that you are right that is why you take your profit too early because you want to be right you don't want to be wrong you think that if i don't take that profit that trade goes into minus and i will again make a loss i don't want to be wrong it is okay small profit let me take the profit and you end up making small profits when you are right big losses whenever you are wrong so that is how people end up making big losses in trading so now what is the solution for that and the solution is you have to have a probability mindset so that is what i was telling you that 90% traders don't have the probability mindset they come with the certainty mindset what is the difference between certainty and probability certainty is something 2 plus 2 always becomes 4 3 plus 3 always becomes 6 3 plus 3 can never become 4 or 5 right 3 plus 3 will always become 6 even next 100 years 1000 years 3 plus 3 will be always 6 2 plus 2 will be always 4 it will never become 3 or 5 that is called certainty what is the probability probability is something like a weather forecast when you hear weather forecast they never give 100% accurate result right they say that there is a heavy chances of rain in bangalore there is a forecast of rain tomorrow in bangalore but it is not always 100% right that is a probability certainty mean 100% it will happen so that is what mathematics is a certainty trading is a probability that mean last week you have seen one setup and you made a very good profit in that setup today you see same setup there is no guarantee that like last week it worked and gave you profit today also it will give you profit there is no guarantee it's all about probability it's a 50 50 chance so that is the difference between certainty and probability so you need to have the probability mindset in trading so don't have the certainty mindset so that is the first reason 
why 90% of traders fail in stock market because they look for certainty in an uncertain business called trading so change your mindset change your mindset from certainty to probability when you come to trade now let us see the second reason why 90% of traders fail in stock market and the second reason is being too emotional with the money that is the reason why 90% of traders fail in stock market now what i mean by being too emotional with the money now let us see why we get too emotional with the money as a human beings you know that we all are emotional people we all are emotional with the money right especially when it comes to money we all are emotional because whatever we are doing in life we are doing it for money only if you are going for a 9 to 6 job you are doing it for money because you are getting salary at the end of the month if you are in the business you are doing it for money because you want money to run your house that is why you are in the business so everyone is here for money for example if you are watching this youtube video because you are watching this video because you think that from this video you may learn something new and that can help you in your trading and you can make some money in trading that is the reason you are watching this video right same time i am making this video because i know that the more and more people watch my video i will get more money from youtube youtube pays me money depends on how many views i get per videos so that is why i am making youtube video so that i also earn some money so all of us are here only for money and that is what i mean people are emotional about money and what is the reason that we get emotional about money because again same example like the first one which i given you earlier since from childhood we were always taught that money is very important we have to save the money we should never waste our money money saved is money earned everyone is emotionally attached or you can even say possessive about money and that is what the mistake happens in trading since people are emotional about money they can't see themselves making loss so whenever they are in the loss they wait in the trade they will wait and see whether that loss convert into profit and only to see that that loss becomes bigger and bigger and that is where many people lose money in trading because being too emotional with the money so what is the solution solution is you can't be too emotional with the money whenever you come to trading because losses are part of trading small losses are part of trading there is no trader in this world who says that i never make loss every day i make profit every trade i make profit if somebody claims you that every trade he makes profit every day he makes profit that mean that person is either god or he is a liar because it is not possible to make profit in every trade losses are part of trading but you can control your losses by keeping the stop loss you can decide how much you are ready to take the risk how much loss you are ready to take top losses are inevitable in trading losses are inevitable in trading so accept that fact then only come to trading you should be ready to part with your money when you come to trading so that is the second reason why people lose money in trading okay now the third thing third thing why traders fail in trading and the third reason is having the gambler's fallacy let me make a small exercise so that you will understand what actually i mean by gambler's fallacy look at this there are five coins right assume that five times you tossed a coin and it fell head okay five times you tossed the coin and it fell head now you tell me what would be the sixth time just take few seconds and guess what it will fall sixth time will it be head or will it be tail just take few seconds guess it and then i'll tell you the answer i'm sure most of you must have thought sixth time it will be tail why because five times it fell head so it has to fall tail right because of the assumption that five times it fell head so six time it has to fall tail right so that is what known as gambler's fallacy if you said tail that means still you have the gambler's mindset still you have that gambler's fallacy and what is the right answer right answer is six time also it's a 50 50 chance there is no guarantee that six time it has to fall tail you know that you know that five times it fell head six time it has to fall tail right that is your assumption but does the coin knows that does that coin have the memory that oh five times i fell head now i have to fall tail does that coin knows that that coins doesn't know that right so that mean six time also it's a 50 50 chance again it can fall head seven time also again it fall head so there is no guarantee that five times it fell head that mean six time it has to fall tail in trading they will come with the gambling mindset they don't trade what they see on the chart they trade what they think that mean trading on the assumption so you should always know that 
whenever you take the trade even though you had a five stop loss in last five trades there is no guarantee that six time you have to make profit because five times you made a loss because you know that you made a loss five times you know that five times your stop loss is hit but does the market knows that five times your stop loss is hit now i have to give him profit market doesn't know that right same time same time if you are going through winning streak last five trades you made profit there is no guarantee that six time you are going to make loss right you should always know that whatever the trade you take it should be independent of past results you can't say that last time it happened this time it will happen no every trade every trade is the independent of previous results that is what they say in trading you should trade what you see not what you think and the fourth reason why traders fail in stock market because looking for a holy grail strategy which gives 95% 99% 100% kind of accuracy that is what people are obsessed with numbers right 95 99 100% they are obsessed with numbers why because that is what we have been taught from the school and colleges students who scored 90% 95 99% they were known to be the topper people who scored 50% 55 60% always recognized as a dumps right people who are people who score 50 60% are recognized as a dumps and people who score 95 99% they are recognized as a intelligent and that is how we always think and that starts from your school days college days you must have seen big holdings coaching centers put it in your city limits right they put a big holding saying that they put the students they put the students photographs 95% 98% 99% 97% these are the students whom we coach and they scored so much marks for iit entrance iim entrance and all this so that is what makes you obsessive with the percentage and you always look for 95 99% kind of achievement and that is what your parents also pushes you for 90% 95 99% and it's already there in mind thinking that anything above 90% 95 99% means good anything less than that it is bad 50 60% mean you think that it is useless if you come with same mindset in trading market will kill you because in trading there is no strategy which can give you 90 95% 99% accuracy this is only mind games from the scammers to scam you by saying that take this strategy it works 90% of the time 95% of the time 98% of the time this is just to scam you because they also knows that people are obsessive with numbers they have to give the strategy by showing 95% 99% all this in trading 50% win rate good enough to make you successful trader if you follow risk reward 60% is too good if you have a strategy which give you 60% win rate 60% accuracy mean it is too good if you have a strategy 40% still you can make a small profit in trading 35% accuracy you can still stay a break even trader so you can see that out of 100 trades even that system even that strategy works only 35% of the time remaining 65% of the time still you can be a profitable trader provided you follow risk reward in trading so people run after accuracy win rate ignoring the risk reward so that is why the solution is don't keep running behind strategy after strategy after strategy so strategy is not important in trading important is trading psychology and risk management 50% good enough to make consistently profit month after month in trading now let us go to the next one that is three enemies who don't allow you to become successful traders so let us see who are those three enemies who don't allow you to become trader and the first enemy is called mr greed and the second enemy is called mr fear and the third enemy called mr hope so these are the three enemies who don't allow you to become a successful trader let me explain it in much better way on the white board so let's move to the white board so i can explain you in much better way now let us have a look at those three enemies and the first one is called mr greed he is the one who don't allow you to become successful trader second one is called mr fear and the third one called mr hope so these are the three people who don't allow you to 
become successful trade now let us go little bit deeper into it and let us see what actually i mean by greed fear and hope how it affects you in trading and and how it stops you to become a successful trader okay now first let us discuss about mr greed market is trading like this and you see a big buying opportunity because it's going in uptrend and you buy here okay you buy here first time and you buy here and you keep your stop loss somewhere here and you keep your profit target here so this is your profit target this is your buy price this is your stop loss and what happens it goes here it goes here you book your profit and after booking your profit that after booking your profit it keeps going up keeps going up keeps going up and you miss this much move because you already taken your profit and you have missed this much movement and you missed this much profit right and what happens you regret you regret of missing this much points this much of profit because you booked your profit here right so then what happens next time you think that i should not take my profit i should wait so that i can capture this move next time you decide i'll not take smaller target i will i will take entire move that is what you think next time you will do it okay next time what happened again you bought here earlier you were supposed to keep target here right and you kept your stop loss here and as you bought it market started going up but you remember last time you took your profit here but then it kept on going up and you missed the opportunity to take bigger profit so this time what you do you will not take your profit because of the greed last time you missed additional points this time you don't want to miss so you don't book your profit but on that day what happens after hitting profit target where still you are not booked it it keeps going down keeps going down keeps going down and your stop loss hit your profitable trade turned into losing trade because of the greed right greed causes you to turn your profit turn your profitable trade into losing trade you should have booked profit here since you did not book your profit your profit turned into losing trade. that is called greed that means not booking the profit where you are supposed to book now let us discuss about the second thing called fear how fear affects your trading okay let me give you an example right you bought it here you bought it here and your profit target is here and your stop loss here right after you bought it here started going up till almost it went near your target then it reversed and your stop loss hit right and you were already in profit but since you waited for your target but instead of touching the target it reversed and your stop loss hit it happens first time next day you take another trade same thing happens it starts going up before reaching the target it reverses and your stop loss hit two back to back stop loss hits then what comes to your mind you think that enough is enough i should not wait for target next time i should book the profit immediately whatever the profit comes i should book it because two times same thing happened i was already in profit i did not book the profit and it turned into losses all right and when you start thinking like that i should not wait for target whatever the profit i see i should book it that is when problem starts that is where problem starts because of why you do it because of the fear because two times your profitable trades turn into losers so third time you don't want so third time you think that third time i will not wait for target whatever the profit i see i should book then it becomes habit that means next time you buy here right you buy here you are supposed to keep your profit target here but the moment it starts going up you go and book your profit you enter here you are supposed to book your profit here you go and book your profit because you think that if i don't take my profit and that is what happens you keep continuing it 
you keep taking small small profits you may have a better win rate but you will never make profit and last one is called hope i can say that out of three greed fear and hope the most dangerous one is hope hope is the most dangerous emotion hope is good in day to day life because we keep keep asking hope you are doing good hope your health is good right hope is okay in real life but in trading life hope is the most dangerous thing that is where most of the people they make bigger losses in big losses in trading that is why in trading they say hope is only for hopeless people so what actually i mean by hope hope means suppose market is going like this and you bought here okay you buy here and your stop loss here your take profit here okay your target here stop loss here and you bought here now after you bought this it it came down took your stop loss and from the same moment it started going up going up going up and finally your target reached right and you felt like cheated you felt like cheated thinking that because i kept my stop loss i made a loss next time again same thing happens you bought here you kept your stop loss here it came down took your stop loss and started going up two times same thing happened then what happens next time you think that i don't want to keep stop loss because i know two times it happened same thing next time i will not keep i will not keep stop loss because last time also it came near my stop loss and it bounced two times it happened next time i'll not keep my stop loss only and i'll trade without stop loss and that is where problem starts because next time you bought here you were supposed to keep your stop loss here but you didn't keep your stop loss and after you bought here started coming down coming down coming down you did not take your stop loss and it started going up because last two times it went like this from the stop loss this time it did not go it did not go up it kept on going down going down going down and you ended with a huge loss because your buy price was here the stop loss was here since you did not keep your stop loss and look at your loss you ended with a huge loss whatever the profits you made small small profits in last few days everything gone in a single trade this happens because of the hope you are hopeful that oh last time it bounced this time also hopefully it bounces but it doesn't bounce it keeps going down keeps going down keeps going down and half of your capital gone and that is how people make big big losses in trading because they trade with the hope thinking that last time it bounced this time also it will bounce and day will come where it will not even bounce it keeps going down going down going down and you ends up with a huge loss and you will start blaming stock market you think that stock market trading is a gambling i lost big money in stock market you start cursing everybody but you don't take blame for your mistake that is what many people do it bigger losses doesn't happen because of the market bigger losses happens because you trade with emotions and you trade without any discipline so it is not market which gives you loss it is you who makes the loss it is your mind which causes you loss it is your trading psychology which causes you loss let me give you an example i take 10 new traders under me and i train them about the trading i tell them where to enter where to exit when they have to enter where to keep stop loss where to take profit target and i'll teach them one of my best strategy okay one of my favorite strategy one of the best strategy i teach them and tell them that this is the only strategy you have to use and i'll meet them after one month and when i see the result do you think that all 10 traders have same result not possible all 10 traders have different result some may do very well some of them may do very well some of them may horribly wrong even though they follow the same strategy which i told them still result will not be same for all 10 people reason is trading psychology because emotion is not same with all human beings right all individuals not have the same emotion some are fearful some are greedy some are disciplined some are not disciplined so that is why your result is different in trading even though you follow the same strategy 
now let's go to the next one that's about another important thing handling the losing streak and winning streak both are very difficult right especially losing streak going through losing streak can be very emotionally draining and it can affect you psychologically so how to come out of it losing streak and winning streak in trading so let us discuss that on the whiteboard so that you understand much better okay now let me show you about how equity curve looks like if a trader who grown his trading account from 1 lakh to 10 lakhs let us see how the equity curve looks like you should know that equity curve never goes in a single line it will never grow from 1 lakh to 10 lakhs in a single line like this okay it will never grow like this it will not go like a rocket in a linear fashion this is how equity curve grows can you see that somebody started from 1 lakh then he started growing account till here then you can see that there was a losing streak look at this this is all the losing streak when graph is coming down losing streak then somewhere here losing streak ended again started going up then after some time again there was a losing streak right then again started going up again there was a losing streak after some time there was a losing streak again there was a losing streak again there was a losing streak and finally he has achieved 1 lakh to 10 lakh rupees right so it is never a single linear line it always goes up and down just like your stocks its stocks never goes from 100 rupees to 500 rupees in a single line in a linear fashion right it will go up and down stocks also goes like this goes like this comes down goes like this that is how stocks also moves right but overall stock is going up can you see that there was stock was coming down again it was coming down again again it started going up so that is what trading also never get panic by looking at the losing streak thinking that oh this strategy has stopped working this strategy doesn't work i should change the strategy losing streak is a part of trade so winning streak and losing streaks are part of trading don't get carried away when you are going through winning streak don't get upset or don't get depressed because you are going through losing streak thinking that that strategy stopped working so that is what i wanted to show you about how a normal equity curve looks like of a successful trader who has grown his account so you have seen that losing streak winning streak is part of trading so you can go through the losing streak same time you can go through the winning streak losing streak will not go forever winning streak also will not go forever so losing streak also has to end somewhere winning streak also has to end some now we will come to the next chapter that is emotional mistakes you do in trading and how to hack the mind so that you don't do that mistake first one in trading very common about taking revengeful trades to recover the previous loss that mean if you take one trade and your stop loss hits you get angry and suddenly you take another trade you will not wait for a minute you immediately take another trade to recover the previous loss that is called revenge trading that mean that mean taking the revenge on the market saying that you made me loss now i'll recover my profit it is like fighting with the market that is one of the most dangerous thing in trading called revenge trading how to overcome that what is the solution let me tell you what you can do it one thing you can do is shut down your system immediately that mean if you make a loss in trading immediately shut down your system don't even look at the system that is the one thing otherwise second thing what you can do is just get out of the room just get out of your trading room the moment you make loss just get out of it and do some other activity don't even look at the chart don't look at your computer screen come next day if you think that doing that also very difficult going out of your room shutting down the system doesn't help you then one of the best thing you can do is tell your wife or girlfriend to change the password that mean they should know your trading password the moment you make a loss tell them to change the password so they will change the password they will not tell you the password they will tell you the password only next day when market opens so that is also one of the best thing you can do is tell your wife or a girlfriend that change the password they will immediately change the password so that you can't trade anymore so that you can trade only next day so that you don't do any over trading or revenge trading next one is getting upset getting sad getting angry 
whenever your stop loss hits it's very common with new traders it happens because you are emotional with the money you get sad angry depressed whenever your stop loss hits for that you should remind yourself you should remind yourself that stop loss is cost of doing the business that means stop loss you should not treat as a loss stop loss should be treated as a cost of doing the business because in trading we don't have any other cost right we don't have to rent a office we don't have to pay salary to anybody we don't have employees we don't have any other cost because we just need a laptop and internet other than that we don't have any other cost in trading unlike other business if you have a hotel business you know that you have so many expenses you have to pay the huge electricity bill you have to pay salary to your employees you have to bring all the food items you have to pay the rent for your hotel so many cost in all if you are having a two cent transport business you should hire drivers you should buy vehicles you should pay the emi you should put the fuel right you should take care of servicing of your vehicle do you think that it's a loss when you are doing the transport business servicing your vehicle do you think that it's a loss no you don't think it's a loss right because it's cost of doing the business because if you put the fuel then only you can then only your vehicle can run then only you can get the business you don't think that paying salary to your employees is a loss trading also stop loss should be treated as a cost of doing the business and that is what i also do whenever my stop loss hits i just make peace with myself thinking that that's okay because this is just a cost of doing the business it's not a loss that is the one thing you can do it whenever your stop loss hits that is what you have to remind yourself so that you don't get sad or you don't get angry whenever your stop loss hits now next one what to do when you are going through the losing streak how to handle the losing streak for that best thing you can do is whenever you are going through losing streak take a break take one or two weeks break don't even look at the chart don't even look at the stock market focus on something else just two weeks just two weeks take a break then come back to trading or if loss is very big then even you can take one month break when you are going through losing streak it's affecting you psychologically best thing to do is take a break because after 15 days when you come back to trading you are in the fresh mind you must have forgotten your previous losses so that can help you in taking a break so that you can start with the fresh mind when you are going through losing streak what happens you are already fearful about the previous losses whenever you take the next trade still your previous losses in mind and again you are fearful to take the trade so best thing to do is take a break for few days come back fresh after few days so that you are not psychologically affected next one is forcing yourself to follow a method of other successful traders so that's why in trading you should know what suits your personality and you should follow that method for example you know that i am more inclined towards reading the chart you see that i follow price action i analyze the charts and that is how i take the trade you never see me following option chain open interest analysis doing the hedging you see me as a pure chart trader that is not because i think that open interest analysis option chain is useless only should do the chart reading nothing like that because i don't get connected to open interest option chain analysis and all this that doesn't suits my personality one of the reason could be i was very poor in mathematics when i was in school even though i am a science graduate but i was very poor in mathematics even till today i am very poor in mathematics mathematics is something i never get along with why that could be the reason why i don't get connected with option chain open interest analysis because it's more about numbers i am more like a creative kind of person i am more inclined towards arts even though i am a science graduate but science is not my passion my passion is creativity my passion is arts so that is what price action reading chart is a art it's not a science reading charts understanding price action it is something like a art it's more like a creative so that is why i get inclined towards chart reading so i don't follow open interest analysis option chain and all these things so you should ask yourself what you are passionate about are you passionate about arts are you passionate about creativity then price action chart trading skills suits you if you are more towards numbers then maybe chart reading price action analysis may not suit your personality don't follow just successful traders because they follow some other method that may not suit you and you will keep trying and you will never be successful so that is what the many people do the mistake of trying to follow the method of successful trader without knowing what actually suits their personality 
now let us come to the last chapter that is who can't become traders so let me start with who are the people who can't become good traders if you are a ceo of the company if you are a md of your company then you are unlikely to become a successful trader it may sound little bit harsh but it is the fact many people think that i am the ceo of the company i am the md of my company i am so successful in my profession i reached to this level so i can become successful in trading but the fact is most of the people who are in the top position who are in the leadership position they fail miserably in trading and what is the reason reason is they are not ready to accept that they are wrong because when they are in the top position leadership position they are not ready to accept their mistakes so easily and stock market they never accept wrong and as i said earlier the biggest mistake why people fail in stock market because they are not ready to accept their wrong they want to be right all the time that only lead to bigger losses in stock market if you are a ceo if you are a cfo then you are unlikely to become a successful trader because to become a successful trader one has to be average person with less ego person who is average with less ego likely to become a successful trader this is the fact i myself seen people who are average people but they are very successful trader people who are average they are likely to become successful trader so in stock market people who have less ego they are likely to become successful trader people with high ego they are likely to fail you don't need an mba from harvard university oxford university to become a good trader you can be a just average person still you can become a good trader if you have a phd in finance you can become a very good professor but not a very good trader second kind of people who can't become a good trader people who are already having financial problem people who don't have money people already going to financial crisis they lost the job or they lost in business they don't have money to pay the rent they don't have money to pay the emi they have huge loan on their head such people can never become a good trader because trading requires very calm mind you can't do trading when you are under stress so i feel very pity for people who contact me saying that i don't have money please teach me trading i lost my job i don't have money please teach me trading so at least i can earn some money i really feel pity for that because 100% i know that they are going to lose money not only they will lose their own money they will take loan from somebody and they will again put in trading because they are under tremendous pressure to make money because they don't have the job they don't have the business and they lose more money so please don't come to trading if you don't have money if you are having financial problem you can't become a good trader so trading is only for people who are financially strong or they have some backup and the third and the last one which kind of people can't become good traders people who are very emotional emotional with the money who always think 100 times before doing anything or people who are not ready to take risk trading is only for people who are ready to risk if you are a person losing 100 rupees also gives you sleepless nights if you are a person losing 100 rupees losing 500 rupees gives you sleepless nights you can't sleep in the night because you lost money or you are a person you are not ready to part with your money you are that kind of person who is too much obsessive with the money or too much emotional with the money such people also can't become good traders because losses are part of trading if you can't take the losses you can't become a good trader that's why in trading they say that you should be a good loser to become a good trader so that's it guys about trading psychology i hope it helped many people you came to know about many things through this video thanks to all for supporting my youtube channel so we are family of 3 lakh subscribers now and keep supporting my channel i'll see you soon with a new video until then thanks bye and take care